Hello, and welcome to episode 39 of my Force of Nature tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on making an iron shuffle and some iron tongs, and showing the benefits of making them. So, if we first go to the um, crafting table, let's open it up and go to recipes. In the crafting table is where we will find the iron tongs and where's the iron? The iron shovel must be in the anvil so we'll go there first and show you that. Okay so let's go to the anvil and recipes and there you go there is the is that the right one? That is, yeah. So it's the shovel that we want to make. In order to make the shovel, you need one stick and one iron ingot. So very simple to make. Uh, any hammer and wooden or iron tongs. But of course, the iron tongs are what we're going to make next. So you can see um, that they're going to be useful here. And I'll show you why in a second. Okay, for now, let's look at the iron shovel. So that's how you make the iron shovel. If we now look at it, you will see that its damage is 1 and attack speed 76. Well, I'll tell you right now, okay, we were using the stick before, weren't we, to dig. But the iron shovel is so much better. Do you want to see the shovel dance? Let's show you the shovel dance. Okay, so we're going to go over here to where there's some dirt. Because soil... I always need, although actually I'd like some more clay. So let's show you the shuffle dance with the clay. So we'll come out the pocket, we will switch to our shuffle, and here is the shuffle dance. See how quick he's going, like a lunatic? There is the shuffle dance, and in no time at all now, using the shuffle, you can get a ton of resources. So as you can see, the shuffle is it's like, I don't know how many times quicker it is, but it is just so amazingly much quicker. So definitely upgrade to the iron shovel as soon as you can. Okay, let's now do the iron tongs. You can clearly see the, iron, the benefits of the iron shovel. Okay, for the iron tongs, we must go to the crafting table. And if I scroll down, I'll select them. For this, we need two iron ingots any hammer and the screwdriver. Remember we made the screwdriver previously. Now we're going to have to switch out one of our tools in order to do this, either the mortar or the knife. So let's select and then select the screwdriver and then OK. Notice oh, it switched out the, uh, <clears throat> the mortar. OK, so we only want one. Let's OK that. As you can see that's going up nicely won't take long at all and what I do I've decided to do with the tool that gets replaced I'll keep it in this small chest right next to it because I know what it's like for me getting losing items you'll see here that I've been making a ton of ash and on that subject let's just show you what I've been doing so I built a second cooking table and you will all want to do the same because one of the tables, cooking tables, is now dedicated to just making flour. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I want to get on to making the apple pies. I mean, you can't turn your nose up at 80 health. And when we're going to go for this third shard, which I'm hoping to do later today, um, we're going to we're going to be getting encountering creatures which are probably going to do a lot more harm to us in other words hit lock, knock our health down a lot quicker so we're going to need to counter that and we're going to counter it with apple pies but there's two bottlenecks to making apple pies one is the flour and one is sugar so i've now got the two apries going as well let's cancel that so i've got the two tables one's doing flour one's doing sugar the apiaries, I'm going to use the honey to make sugar, so just keep taking that out. You can see I'm getting a bit of honey now, but it's still not quick enough. 
So what I'm now going to do is we're going to go and cut a load of uh, bamboo and cane because we can also use that for making sugar. Oh, the sugar's done actually, so let's pick this honey back up. Let's go to this cooking table, grab that and make a load more sugar. Oh, I thought I could use honey. Wait a minute, what am I doing wrong? Must be another sugar somewhere, maybe. Oh, I thought I could use honey for making sugar. Let's come out of that. Oh, okay. Well... For some reason I've got it into my head that we could use honey for making sugar. Oh, no. There we go. There's my mistake. Don't need sugar. So I can use honey and sugar. Oh, that's really fantastic. So that actually makes this process of making apple pies much much quicker because I've got 55 um, enough to make 55 with the honey and how much sugar have I got now 76 so that's 35 and 55 80 90 so I'm only 10 off of being able to make a hundred apple pies let's just drop all this here. Now that's really cool. I thought I had to make sugar with honey, but I don't. I can use both. Right, okay, so let's go get some bamboo because the timer hasn't gone yet. Or, wait a minute, let's get these iron tongs and show you the benefits of them. So here we go. Going over the iron tongs, you'll see it increases our crafting speed by 30%. So we'll take them out of there. We will go back to the anvil. and we will swap out the wooden tongs for these amazing iron tongs. Uh, that can be dropped in the scrap pile. So now when we get to making some of the other items in here it will be 30% faster. So I'm sure you'll agree that that really is fantastic. Anyway, so we've got a bit of time left before that alarm goes. Let's go, let's drop my nails first because I have to presume that I'm going to die. And I really don't want to lose any of my items which take a little while to make. Ah, right, okay. Next, before we go do that, <clears throat> let's show you something I've been meaning to show you. The quick way of gathering all your crops, which took me a little while to click with. So what you do, get yourself in the middle of your, your fields and then press the ALT key and look at that harvest them all at once yes I know I'm a bit slow with catching on to that so ALT key auto harvests and then you just walk around doing the control key to pick them up isn't that fantastic so much quicker right let's replant wheat is something you're going to need a ton of you're just going to need to keep on replanting. Although I probably have got enough by now. I mean, I've got hundreds. Well, I did have 900, but I've turned it all. In. I've turned 600 into flour, and I've got another hundred uh, turning into flour. Thank you to Dragorin for letting me know about the mill, which will use less wheat to make flour. So that's cool. Okay, there we go, we've got a load more wheat. Let's throw the wheat over here so it's ready to go to flour. Let's drop these tongs over here where I'm uh, putting the old tools, which I've been upgrading. Just making a pile of them there. Let's drop some of this stone. Let's drop some of this water. 
again, you just when you before you go hunting, you should always presume that you're going to die, and if you die, of course, you're going to lose some of your items that you've got. So I'm just making sure that I don't get penalised by losing too many of anything. Okay, so the rest of it I'm not really too worried about. Okay, let's go and get ourselves some more sugar cane. Okay, we'll have our sword equipped. And as you can see, there is loads of sugarcane and bamboo. It's fantastic. So what I intend to do is drain all my stamina. Oh, it's saving. So much better with my upgraded iron axe. I think I'm going to be clearing this whole area of the bamboo and sugar cane. Let's drink a coffee. Oh no, I don't need that one. another coffee. See coffee still does me well, it serves me well at the moment. Um, I will progress on to chocolate but for the time being coffee is very good. need to put some lights down because it is getting dark and I've got to make more lanterns I love the way you can just disrupt the terrain and not only gather resources but cut new paths through the landscape. It's just really amazing. It's one of the greatest things of Forge of Na Force of Nature. It's just it's just so fantastic. It's not linear by any standards. You can cut a path in any direction to anywhere on the map. And providing you're strong enough or have the right equipment to survive, you can go anywhere you like. It's just brilliant.
Oh, there's the timer. Just cut a bit more of this cane away. And then we can see how much we got. Okay, let's have a look. How are we doing? Nearly 200. So let's get 200 and then I'll call it there. And then that is all going to turn, be turned into sugar. Oh, time to refine. No emerald chip. That's a shame. Never mind. At least we got some gold. Right, that gives us 200. So now I'm going to go back and turn it all into sugar. another 40 sugar right okay you can see the progress we've made here we've got ourselves an iron shovel so we're digging really quickly now um, the anvil will be 30% quicker for when we progress to making some of the armors and uh, we're heading towards apple pies wherever you are in the world God bless you and keep every single last one of you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day goodbye